wait a minute, what the heck is this? Undead zombie? Isn't a zombie already dead? So an undead zombie would be an alive zombie? Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. Alright guys, we are at store number two in Salem, Massachusetts. This Spirit Halloween store back here, this one looks like it's much bigger than the first one, and it's actually beside a Walmart down there. So that means if mom wants to go to Walmart, you can be like, yeah, but mom, it's right next door. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you go over to the Saturday Night Snack and a Movie channel and subscribe, because right after I get done at this here Spirit Halloween, I'm gonna be bouncing around Marblehead and Salem to check out a couple of filming locations of Hocus Pocus and Hubie Halloween. With that being said, let's go ahead and get this underway. I am so excited to go in my second store of Spirit Halloween in Salem, Massachusetts. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, look who they have up front. This is what I'm talking about, guys. They're all set up different. Ghostface is usually over there. Ringmaster is usually right there. In this store, we have Ghostface right there. And this guy right here, the Cremator. All right, let's go ahead and get him going first. Step into the shadows with me, mortal. Where the boundary between life and death blurs. And the night holds its breath. That's cool. I think that's the loudest one I have heard in any store. Wow, I see animatronics on the floor for sale all the way down that way and all the way down this way. But first, let's finish looking at these guys here. We got Ghostface up here, and in this store he has the machete and the bloody mask. Did you miss me? I don't know if I've ever heard him say that before. Did you miss me? What the heck? All right, let's do it again. Hold on. Here we go. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walked into a dark alley. Yeah, I've heard that one about a hundred times. <laughs> and look at this. This is this is put together like backwards or something. How strange. This is the arm that's going, and this one's just like holding the machete. So he's like holding a machete and punching it with his hand. Oh, and I also just noticed that we don't have a uh, Jack up here, Jack the Reaper on top the carnival sign. And actually, before we go through there, let's go ahead over here and look at some of these animatronics they have on the floor for sale. We got a ringmaster here. We got a Max Straw. Oh, we actually have two ringmasters right here. We got a Bobby Strings. Of course, we have a man's possessed friend, Bubba. We've got a couple of foam coffins over here. Let's see what's on the other side look at this we got a betty sharp this is the first time i've seen a betty sharp in a store this season and she's sitting right on top cotton candy dan we've got an emily from the corpse bride right over here a dark princess over here i got a mr punchy and look at this there's even a straw man over here surprisingly i've seen straw man in a lot of stores this season all right let's keep on moving here we got a couple of pose and stay skeletons we have one lone jumping black spider down there. We'll check this corner out in a minute. I love just stepping back sometimes and looking at the wall displays of all this awesome Halloweeniness up here. Look at this. We got all these buckets up here begging for stickers. Even more down here. These are all the inflatables over here. And look at this. They actually have three of the 12 foot ghost face inflatables and two of the Jack the Reaper archways. Ah yes, the wall of buckets and a handful of stickers. One for you, 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 one for you. Skull, dinosaur, bucket, spider, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Jack Skellington, Flounder, Bullseye, Mickey, this guy, this guy, and that guy. 
Whoa, that guy almost fell over. Okay, let's make our way back around here, see if we can find some more animatronics, because I know there are some over this way, so let's just do that, and then we'll come back up here. Okay, yeah, down this way we got, oh my gosh, look at this, guys, I can't believe it. People are having a hard time finding even one Art the Clown in a store. They have two Art the Clowns in this store. Salem, Massachusetts, right by the Walmart. Get over here right now and buy them. They also have, what is this, two giant death rays. We have, oh, we got a Slim over here who's a display model for 20% off. That is a cool deal. We've got the light up ghost face and the ghost face animatronic here. We got a Max Straw. We got a Barnaby the Bear. Two demonic gatekeepers. Man, this guy is absolutely huge. I saw him set up in a couple of stores this season, and he was so much bigger than I ever expected him to be. Raises from three and a half feet to four and a half feet, and that is actually pretty dang big. And we've got two gravestone ghouls over here, and it looks like that's all the animatronics on this row. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Undead zombie. Isn't a zombie already dead? So an undead zombie would be an alive zombie. Looks like they are pretty stocked on all the t-shirts. Tons of trick-or-treat bags. If I had to say which one of these was my absolute favorite trick-or-treat bag, I think I would choose the good guys. Look at this. I love the stores that go all out like this and just cover every single thing in spirit signs. Look at this. We got the long orange spirit banner all the way up here. And then every one of these posts is wrapped in the gray spirit banner. You can see it better up here. Yeah, right above the giant death ray. This is what it looks like. The gray one and the orange one. And everything in here is wrapped in that stuff. Totally awesome. Hello, rat. Hello, Freddy. Hello, other Freddy. Hello, whatever you are. Look at this. This is disgusting. All right, let's come on over here and check out the fun house of terror. Let's go ahead and get nibbles started here before we go anywhere else. <laughs> Oh, he's following good. <laughs> Come on now, I'm over here. There you go. Yeah, he did a good job following. That is a pretty cool picture right there, if I do say so myself. All right, let's come on over and check out Barnaby the bear before we move on. Come on, Barnaby. Oh, he is super loud. Gotta love Barnaby. All right, we got Victor and Emily here. Let's get them going. There's Victor. Does she have her own? I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I do. You make the bride. All right, let's get uh, Bobby Strings going here. Will he sing his song? Finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. Please come hang out with me, and I'll loop you in on the disturbing Look at these giant feet. The city of Maniac is on the loose, but I wouldn't want to string you along with some awful rumor. Just in case. Let me hide behind you. <laughs> Alright, let's come on over and get Cotton Candy Dan here. Yum, yum, yum! Sometimes it's sweet. He is super Sometimes loud, too. One thing I'll tell you, though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> We got Wanda Webworth up next. I love how she sounds like she's crunching bones. And that is it for the outside of the fun house. Let's go ahead and go over here and we will go through the fun house of terror. Will we smell cotton candy? Here we go. Oh my gosh, yes, it smells so good. 
Look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell this, but this orange shirt that I'm wearing here glows like neon under this light here. Very cool. It's not very cool how enormous I look though. Oh my gosh. I gotta lay off the Oreos. I've tried to film this a couple of times, but the way that it spins, it doesn't really come out right on film. You can see that's Jack the Reaper right there. And if we hang out here for a minute, we got this guy. I don't even remember what his name is. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's come on back out here. One thing that caught my eye that I wanted to check out are these little mini backpacks. Look at this. We have zero, and this thing is literally, like there's my hand. It's literally the size of my palm. We have zero. Oh, this one's cool. The mystery machine. What's this one here? Friday the 13th, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, look at this, we got Ghostface, that one's pretty cool. We have Halloween, Return of Michael Myers. We got South Park here, and it looks like we have a Beetlejuice down here, that one's pretty cool. Couple other little zipper packs here, this one's Lilo and Stitch. And this one is Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I wanted to look at these crossbody bags too because I think they're so cool, these designs. And I'm not sure if I've seen all of these. I don't think so. I know I've seen the handbook for the recently deceased. I think I've seen this spell book bag, the Book of Spells. Here's another spell book, but I don't think I've seen this one. The Sorcerer's Cookbook with a golden skull on it. And then we have a couple of them that are shaped like a coffin, that one. And this, oh, I think this one might actually be a backpack. This one's a backpack here, and it actually has bat wings on it. All right, let's motivate back here for a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, for, <laughs> for a minute, I thought there was like 20 secret keeping cats. We got the secret keeping cats. We have scabs here. We have carrot on the end. Scabs, best friend forever. Let's put them together so they can kind of hang out for a little bit. We have the zombie, I almost call these the zombie squirrels. It's like a snail with a skull on it. It's not really a zombie, but it does have a cool skull. More secret keeping cats. Creeping cats. Steven Seagulls. Like every time I see this guy, I don't think of it being like a zombie, like that blood on his beak. I think of it as I just spilled my french fries, covered with ketchup, and this guy ate them all. We've got the murderous crows. We've got a couple more hello rats. And then we've got the zombie squirrels down here. Of course, we have more creeping cats here. Oh, here's a couple more animatronics over here. We got the empty soul girls on swings we have the creepy crimson girl on swings and the ghastly ghost girl on swings as well as just the ghost swing and the hand grabber mechanism hook eye guy and the hook head hogs we got the tied up pumpkin head the clown heads on ropes we got the bone gallery here and look at this guys they actually have an art Horror Baby, very cool. These are starting to show up in the stores more often now. There's some stickers for you. We've got the Pennywise, the Ghostface, the Michael Myers. Surprisingly, even less than seeing this one in stores, I don't think I have seen any Leatherface Horror Babies in any stores this season at all. Maybe it's because I murdered him. All right, let's leave some stickers for these zombie babies here. Another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there. Oh, look at this. We have three Grave Watchers over here. I knew it. They always love to hide them around the corners where you least expect it. They also have a swinging witch down there and an empty soul girl on a swing. Fogging skull piles, groundbreaking pumpkins, groundbreaking skeletons. Did I just say ground baking skeletons? Hmm, I wonder what he's baking because I am one hungry king of the world. All right, let's put some stickers in these cauldrons here. And look at this. This is so simple but so cool. The Wrong Way Witch Tree Hugger. It's like a witch that took the wrong way and smashed into the tree. All right, let's just step back and look at this wall of goodness here for a minute. Look at that. How cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have the Art Krispies box. There are actually three of them. Everybody's been trying to get these as well. It basically just looks like a cereal box. If they had this cereal on the shelves at the grocery store, I would definitely buy some. We got Camp Crystal Lake, the Overlook Hotel, Pennywise the Dancing Clown, John Carpenter's Halloween. That is a sweet sign right there. We got this one that I bought in Canada, Time to Play, Time to Slay. 
And in the neon signs here, we got time to float on the bottom. We got art in the middle and ghost face on the top. We've got the horror ficuses, the plethora of bobbling bobbleheads, Pennywise and Freddy and Jason. And down here we have Chucky and Beetlejuice. Sticker, 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 sticker sticker looks like they have every kind of slippers they offer this year and to finish up let's look and see what kind of tumblers we have here look at this they have two terrifier tumblers here the art crispies i actually bought one in canada and i have it out in the car We've got the Deadpool up here. We've got this one that people have told me what it's called and I just can't remember. We got this one, go back to heck. We've got the Wednesday purple mug. And then we have Lilo and Stitch right here. Oh my gosh, this place is stocked. There is so much more stuff to look at in here, guys. And I know I don't usually spend a lot of time looking at the costumes. It's pretty much because every time I do, everybody says, yeah, but where are the animatronics? So I try to stick with the animatronics. If you want me to do a video all about the costumes here let me know and i will and right before we go guys right here in front of me i totally missed them and walked past all the rest of the jumping spiders we got the gray one we got the black one we got the brown one and the black and red so no matter which one you're looking for they have them right here right now in salem massachusetts by walmart <laughs> all right guys that's it for store number two in salem massachusetts there it is the big sign behind me i am going to go check out what salem and marblehead have has to offer as far as filling locations for Hocus Pocus and Hubie Halloween.